walking. The open gate beckons my soul into its dark solitude. The warm sodium glow speaks of sepia and fairies. Victoria, where are you now? Do you look down upon your subjects with mirth and amusement in this later day? Do the foibles of the people reflect or reject the foibles of your court? Once through the gate, that iron gate in its limestone arch, I choose the left-hand path. It's habit now, but this is the path of darkness and mystery. I follow it to its inevitable conclusion in picturesque ruins. Where else could such a path ever end? How many paths lead this way? How many gateways lead here? Whose is the unmarked headstone in the west past the stags and stables and gates?